We're here with Stuart with Born Outdoors. All right, Stuart, tell us all about your gear. Absolutely. Welcome to, uh, I'm Stuart with uh, Born Outdoor. We're, out of, uh, we're a Colorado-based company. Uh, you can find more about us at bornoutdoor.com, B-O-R-N, outdoor.com. So what we've done is, I kind of jumped, this is the camping section of Overland Expo, because this is how we roll, nice and simple. And what we've done here is basically built a federal system. So you start with a four-inch uh, Mondo King Thermarest pad. Good pad. Has an R7 rating, these things are money. They're also really expensive. And what we've done with the bedroll is to be able to take this, the value of the R7 rating, and, and use that and kind of build the whole system around it. So you've got a bottom sheet, a top sheet, and quilts. And, you, and it's all kind of rolled up here. It's just all kind of hooks inside here. So at the top, what we've got is the mattress itself. This is inside here. We've got a bottom sheet, the top sheet, and those anchored in down here at the base. And so the base here, you can kind of see where they're anchored in. And that keeps it off from moving up, moving up this way. <clears throat> when the bedrolls zipped up, a couple of features we have on it is you have this two-way stretch material here and these sidewalls. The sidewall right here will pull Ooh. up and give you a lot of room. So inside here, you've got just a ton of room. Oh yeah. And as a side sleeper, you can toss and turn. It's two-way stretch. So one of the most common questions we get is: Is it waterproof? It is not a baby sack mm -hmm. at all. Um, you, when you build a design a product, you get wet, get waterproof or you get um, breathability. Yeah. We bought them for breathability. You got like tents, like this is a seek outside tent. Put this up on top of it, you got your shelter. Of course. And so, um, a couple things about the quilts. You got snaps on the quilts that you can layer these up. So you put one quilt, two quilts on here. So it's designed literally to go from the Baja, California to El Camel, Colorado. Nice. This kind of sleep however you want. And everything you're seeing here is rolled up into here. <laughs> so it's 15 pounds, um, nice tight bedroll, but everything you seen right there is laid out on top of this pot is rolled up inside here. That's awesome. And I, I looked at some of the material choice we made. The bottom here you have a 610D ripstop material. Oh yeah, burly. So big burly material. Those pads are expensive, like 275 for just the pads. But when you layer this underneath there, you're not going to damage that pad. Yeah. There's just no way. And so we've never had a return on a pad, we've never heard of anybody popping a pad. Um, and we literally advertise these things like sleep anywhere. My yeah. son's a, he's a guy, mountain guy, sleeps in the back of his truck all the time. He's woken up with screws underneath his truck. Whoa. Underneath his bed. Fine. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Love it. lay on the ground here and knock yourself out. So it's truly about cowboy camping. We sleep on inside tents, cots, grounds, back of your truck, in your van, sleep wherever. Oh, I love it. Yeah. We do a lot of rooftop tent camping and sometimes they don't come with mattresses and sometimes like I think it'd be really ideal especially in winter applications where I would go backcountry snowboarding yep. to have like a bedroll like that lay it out no it's waterproof bottom is good to go and then I can just roll it all back up because the tent I have currently won't allow for bedding in there so that's a that's a great solution yeah. for even outside of tent based camping absolutely we, I mean, we have people on rooftop tents I mean kind of sleep anyway yeah um, back to your vehicle platforms wherever you are and when you double these things up like with the quilts I slept at zero degrees with two quilts and final sheets there you go and being totally comfortable and the other part too we have a duffel bag that this fits into as well so this duffel bag is designed for depending on how you travel um, this will fit inside here so oh the bedroll is actually designed to fit inside the, the shell itself and a couple things we've done on the bag and here's a nice big burly duffel bag in general it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom Interesting. That's specifically designed that way, so when you start this thing, you push it in there, and then you can just really force it down. And then we've got big heavy-duty YKK zippers here, which you can hang on to here, and just torque that thing and actually get it close. Nice. Now, we've got a friend of ours who is a, a D1 skier. Mm -hmm. This was his go-to back, because the only back he could close on his own. You get a float up, full step, and just boom, torque it down. Nice. So it's big enough to fit inside there, along with sheets and quilts and other things. Um, and be able to put this up on top of your roof. It's not waterproof, and, and like it's not a dry bag, yeah. but it's really enough where you can kind of go ahead and um, you know put it on top of your roof and be able to handle the Colorado, Colorado rain. For sure. Yeah. Oh, cool stuff, Stuart. This is what we did, we're not door. Love it. Yeah.